Hello, everybody, and welcome. First of all, I would like to say those who have subscribed, I want to thank you. I do appreciate that. Those who have viewed my videos, much appreciated as well. Much appreciated. Keep coming back. Motivates me to do more of this stuff. Okay? All right. Let's begin. Okay. Nancy Pelosi and friends have uh, passed the old uh, $3 trillion spending package called the Heroes Act. Okay. So they uh, they've, uh, passed this in the House. And what this is, is it's a uh, spending package which includes funding for state and local governments, uh, a contentious issue, more direct payments for Americans and additional funds for COVID-19 testing and contact tracing. Okay. And Nancy says, uh, I think there's an opportunity here for us because this is the only centered only centered on the coronavirus. It's only centered on the coronavirus. Okay, got that. Uh, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said of her party's latest push to fight the coronavirus pandemic. Okay, all of these provisions have had provenance in our former four bills that passed in a bipartisan way. All of them are su uh, supported by Democrats and Republicans across the country, she said in a Mad Money interview. Now let's move on to some key facts. The bill includes a provision that would allow cannabis businesses to more easily access traditional banking and insurance services by preventing federally regulated financial institutions from being penalized for working with them. Okay, so it keeps people out of trouble for messing with the weed. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It also requires that research be conducted on minority and women-owned cannabis businesses. So I guess I'm not included in that one. Damn. I'm out. I want some research. Why can't I'm just a broke-ass American, too. Why can't I get some damn cannabis research? Shh. The HEROES Act includes $250 million in grants to help reintegrate formerly incarcerated individuals into to society and prevent recidivism, that means uh, reoffending. While those grants aren't directly related to the coronavirus crisis, no shit, the bill does provide another $200 million for crisis response in federal prisons which have been devastated by the virus. Have they? Okay, well, I'll see. I guess that's all right. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Um, it also allocates $10 million for the National Endowment of Arts. So we need some $10 million for some arts. Independent federal agency that funds, promotes, and strengthens the creative capacity of our communities by providing all Americans with diverse opportunities for arts participation. I can't think of a better way to fight the coronavirus than with paintings and sculptures. Another $10 million for the uh, National Endowment for the Humanities. Independent federal agency created in 1965 because democracy demands wisdom. Well, where the fuck is it? NEH serves and strengthens our republic by promoting excellence, okay? They're promoting excellence in the humanities and conveying the lessons of history to all Americans. There's also $71 million for the Fish and Wildlife Service. To help prevent disease spread to humans by wildlife. The coronavirus originated from viruses carried by bats. Though scientists don't know yet how it made it from bats to humans. So I don't know how it made the jump. But we're going to go ahead and prevent that disease by not knowing how it made the jump. Damn, does that make my brain hurt or what? Uh, well, that gets back to the cannabis. That sounds like the same thing as... Yeah, officer, uh, I knew he had the cannabis, but I don't know how it made the jump from him to me. So, okay, and then next, it also would repeal the SALT cap, the limit on state and local tax deductions, which Democrats have said is, on, is a way to boost Americans' disposable income. Sounds like some disposable, the whole damn thing sounds like disposable income. All right, uh, anyway... That's what's going on with that. Once again, 
It's been a pleasure. And uh, if you'd like to leave a like and subscribe, that would be fantastic. Y'all take care.